Okay, so um, we have been a bit quiet for the last couple of months, but I just thought that I'd provide an update. So let's just start the game up quickly. Um, so uh, we've got a few things to cover today, which um, is here, which I'll go through as the uh, video progresses. So. Uh, first thing I want to cover that I integrated the game now to Steam so that you can connect and join friends or have friends join your game uh, via Steam. So this is again in sort of test mode, um, but it will be integrated when the game is launched on Steam in the distant future um, no time frame we're still in development there's a lot to work on so uh, but steam is fully functioning with the game as it stands um, and also with steam we can see the sort of in-game um, FPS to give you an idea so that's that so we've added some loading screens as you noticed so let me quit again and just open um, just a placeholder Unreal Engine video, which we can add in a intro video following that, and then going into game, uh, new game, just do a test, and then we'll start game. Um, loading screens in between levels. So bear with this a second while the textures load in. we go sorry so yeah so this is a um a built version of the game but just in development mode so uh, not everything is baked and cooked and um uh, functioning as a shipped product which will of course be different when the game is shipped so uh, that just enables me to do bug testing if there's any issues as we progress through so um we validate a uh, a belt slot, a holster slot, um, a knife and pistol slot, so you can have up to four weapons equipped at any one time now. Um, when we get into the main level, I'll obviously explain that a bit more in detail, but uh, it just gives you more capacity for inventory. Uh, the other thing that we have added is, as you can see, the world temperature currently is minus three. However, the temperature on the player is three degrees. That's because each worn piece of clothing um, has an insulation value uh, which warms the player based on the world temperature. Okay, so the shirt has an insulation value of two, pants of two, the boots of two, making it minus three to three degrees. If I take off the shirt uh, into the trousers, along with the boots you will see the temperature on the player go down and start to make an effect around the screen going blue which means that the player is getting cold and will eventually start to take damage okay so that is the temperature system which has been incorporated uh, and more items of clothing, the helmet, vest, belt, uh, holster don't have any effect. So the helmet, the vest, the face, if you've got a balaclava or if you've got a gas mask equipped, then that will also have an effect on the player temperature. So also bear in mind that you will take damage when you're too cold, but you will also take damage when you're too hot. So you just need to... Um, uh, accommodate really what the world temperature is and adjust accordingly so uh, but that's incorporated and that is now working uh, where were we uh, let me just close that okay so loading screen okay so in the um, intro hey there you're finally awake I'm Vincent and I head up the research team down here you've been with us for a while now I bet you have some questions um, we still have the same quest line that we had previously. Uh, so if I just What's run going through on this, here? well, hope 
very quickly because we've seen this in another update anyway. Nothing much has changed here at all. What is your sake? Okay, sure. Okay, so um, I'm now going to go to get the uh, items from this area. So the code 92135. Go through the door, enter the codes. And we collect the items from the locker. You can now control and click or drag into the inventory with the mouse or control and click the items and they will automatically be added uh, into and out of the inventory or a container. Yeah. So control click, control click, control click. Yep. So it makes looting a lot quicker, basically. Um, from here, if I, well, just here really, uh, drink from the canister, we now have a drinking animation. Um, and the use of this water bottle has six uses. As you can see, it's gone down by one. Uh, if I eat the apple, uh, we have an eating animation and we have a healing animation. Okay, so uh, again, I'm testing this at the moment before adding it onto other um, uh, drink bottles, cans, etc., and obviously food items. So um, all food items will eventually have the animation as well as drinking. So, uh, what was the code? Nine two one three five. Okay. Now, if we go into here. Hey, I'm Naomi. And we'll be back shortly. Come on, that. So, from a water container, you can either drink, which will increase your thirst, or you can fill containers. So, this is now at six of six. So, um, you should go speak to. I'll be back. That works perfectly. Um, what else was it I wanted to show in here? Um, I think that is it in here. So, if we just quit out, uh, to the main menu, and we go into, uh, Swanfield start here so then once you finish the quest line in the intro level you will then go into the main uh, map which has changed quite a lot so i'll go through that as soon as the map loads in so we've increased the map size we've changed some of the foliage and worked on uh, performance and other things as well so one thing, as you will see, um, your quests will automatically start as soon as you enter a level, but they will also save um, uh, when you leave a level. So your quest progress will be saved um, as you move through the game. So, uh, yes, for the map. So, we're currently here. So, if I place a marker in these corners. Uh, you'll be able to see the distance. So, eight kilometers that way, uh, nine kilometers that way, and 12 kilometers in that direction. So, the map is now 10 kilometers by 10 kilometers, which is 100 square kilometers in total. So, it's a lot bigger. Um, we've added landmarks to the menu, uh, sorry, to the map, which will be. Um, uh, discovered when the player enters that area. So the quest is taking us here to start with, as it was before. So we've got the safe zone, we've got the um, airdrop, we've got a farm location, I've added a uh, housing estate, um, I've also added a main city, which is Swanfield, um, and I've also added a quarantine zone 
So uh, also, as you can see, there's areas of lakes and um, forests, etc., going throughout the, the, the entire map. So as for the foliage, um, we have increased performance, increased color distance, so that um, so trees in the you know the distance where we're facing won't be rendered into the scene. So after you pass a certain distance, because you don't need to see them anyway, but it is increasing as you can see the uh, the rendering frames per second um, currently. Uh, we've changed the um, sort of rocks and boulders. Added um, if I can find any. There we go. Uh, stones to the ground that you can now collect. We've added um, uh, sort of logs laying around that you can now collect. So you're not limited to never having a uh, weapon. So you can always craft basic weapons, uh, which aren't very strong or powerful, but at least you have an option from the very start. Yeah. So if we just go this way, and then we'll collect as we go. So we need, um, where are we? Uh, 10 stones, 10 wood. Uh, oh yes, that's another thing that we have added actually, is collection and pickup animations. So, stones. So you pick up off the ground. Um, and also... Uh, from player level, if I can find some berries. Here we go. So, collection animations. Or foliage around the level, so I uh, still need more wood. Let's have a look. There we go. Put them on the hot path for now. Um, there we go. More wood. And I think there's more there. Yep. We need two more wood. One more wood. Okay, so we can now craft a stone uh, axe and pickaxe and equip them to the player. Okay, so we have added new destruction effects to. Um, uh, stone and ore. Again, that's a rendering thing because it's in development. So, okay. and the same for stone that this tree is growing out of. that and then I believe we've seen the tree destruction effects previously yeah. so that needs a little work but uh, it's all work in progress okay a couple of straight ears over here um, yes so another thing we've changed let me just uh, go to the audio one moment uh, yeah so we've added like um, ambient sound so birds in forests and things like that you can hear probably or hopefully there we go um, and obviously the weather effects as well but it's just to make sure that you can hear me uh, back resume okay so new grass uh, new plants all rendering a lot better than the previous 
landscape material and foliage we had. And as you can see, we've got everything rendering currently, including the rain, at 90 frames, 100 frames per second. So uh, performance is a lot better. Uh, we're heading here. Okay. So this might be quite a long video, but I wanted to make sure that I covered everything because um, I haven't had time to do an update for a while, but obviously been quite busy with everything going on in the game, you know, uh, in the background, basically. Let's just eat some berries, get some more hunger and thirst up for now. more wildlife these spawn according to the player so um, player detection will spawn uh, wildlife uh, zombies etc and they'll deactivate when the player moves away so there's there's AI in the level uh, but it'll only spawn when the player is in proximity so that there's not hundred thousand uh, AI running around at all times but they will be present when you get within range. So, Is there anything else I wanted to cover while I was here? Temperature, quarter of damage, uh, drinking. So we're down to here basically. So we've added zombie reactions also. So on site of the player now, the zombie will react, play an animation and sound to say that they, um, uh, they've they seen the player and then will react and attack. So. So, like I said, a lot of the the video is mainly going to show gameplay and um, just running through the level mainly. So, we can see different areas and um, different features, I guess. Just take these markers off for now because uh, we've got another one over there. Where's that one? Over here. Okay. Perfect. comes the airdrop so we'll head over there shortly yeah we have some zombies let's go so there's the reaction animation one of
and then they will just attack after they've seen the player. I think I showed in previous videos you've got uh, a damage effect when the player takes damage now. Uh, different attack animations from the zombies also. And sound within prism, uh, proximity, so uh, it's not heard all over the map by every single player, basically. Halt! Who got Don't... Oh, okay. Okay. And then the guards will take these guys out. Uh, any minute. Come on, guards, where are you? There we go. Um, oh, there's no more room. Okay. There we go. That's because that's up to the waxman weight. Okay. All right, let's loot some of these vehicles um, let's just stack them up for now drink that gather that I'm hoping that a crowbar will spawn in one of these vehicles and then we can show what we've done with um barrels so from the intro level you get a crowbar but if you choose not to play the intro level you need to find one you can also craft one at the crafting bench but we need scrap metal nails and wood planks for that so that's going to take a little while to to gather you know um not sure whether i said before but vehicles uh when you do loot vehicles the doors all work, uh, open and close, but there is only one container for the entire vehicle. So you only need to loot it once and that's it, basically. I don't want that for now. Oh, actually, I might be able to sell that. No, I haven't got space anyway. <laughs> the airdrop should be pretty much landed now so we'll head over there in a moment i just want to sell everything that i've got in the inventory um so we can start getting some coin and then buying resources with the, the zone coin which is the in-game currency if i haven't already uh, mentioned that Turn the volume up a little bit quickly. There we go. On the ambient sound. So you have the, the volume sliders, which turns everything off the master. Ambient is uh, weather and birds and things. And then effects are, uh, I'll show you quickly. Things like footsteps, um, zombie sounds, attack sounds, weapon sounds, etc. So. Uh, audio back up. There we go. I think it's pretty much self explanatory now. And that is about it. Okay. I think we looted these also. Yeah. There we go. 
let's just get rid of these um, complete the request remove the marker and then the quest line will be progressing from here so to go to a different area and then um, uh, further the story I guess so sulfur we have seven you can either sell them one by one or sell as a total 12 metal ore uh, you can put the values in or sell them one by one whatever you want to do so uh, 21 stone so okay so what we want to do now ideally is craft a backpack or actually we'll go anything else to sell here uh, yeah let's sell that wood uh, 18 and then we've got more space there okay so if we head up to the drop zone uh, sorry airdrop uh, before we go I'll show you quickly so now that we've entered the safe zone as you can see it's been discovered um, and just above the minimap when you go into the zone it'll tell you where you are what that area is and then it will disappear when you leave there we go and there we go Okay, so let's go to the here and see what came via the airdrop. I've decided to keep everything that's spawning random because that's how it will be in game. Um, so we don't know what we're going to get basically. Uh, I'm just going to place a marker here. Um, because you can place uh, player markers also so for instance choose a color uh, choose the marker type what you want um, name it home or base as an example and then it adds that to the map so that you remember where something of interest is and you can do that with as many uh, markers as you want. So, uh, for instance, if I go here and uh, water as an example, so that will always be there. Uh, yep, safe. So, um, airdrop. Sorry, is up this direction. do with finding some berries on the way as well so that we can replenish thirst and hunger there we go see on the map we're currently a drop which is white once we go into the area oh it stays white okay okay we'll have that uh ID would be good uh trousers change them 
cancel them. And I think that's it. One other thing we've added as well, the ability to um, make rags from cloth items. So you can always find cloth, which is used for uh, crafting in quite a lot of the recipes. Uh, craft a pinch stone. But yeah, it just gives you an, uh, added options, basically. Okay. Well, let's go back to the safe zone area. Uh, let's see if we can craft a backpack. So we need wood planks, nails, and rope. We've got plenty of cloth. So we just need wood, basically. And we have... Should have enough as I'm going to buy it, but we can always um, farm some trees and collect it. So you've got the option, basically. some trees down on the way. As the build is going as well, I'll be adding, of course, more AI. Um, bears is going to be the next thing. Uh, wolves, rabbits. Obviously, uh, we've got lots of different zombie types, but we just need to add more in. But again, this is just... Um, we're building it and testing it and seeing as we go gradually. Uh, I don't want to overload so that performance takes a hit if it does then i'll look into it further so the marker for the base should be pretty much where we are now and then safe zone is there now you can of course build anywhere you want on the map um but i just thought this is a sort of a good spot but now, close to the safe zone where you've got the um, uh, the vendors to buy and sell resources. So, some sort of stones. Okay, so, uh, backpack, we need three wood planks, so we need to make them, um, we don't have any right now, no, so wood plank, one, two, three, uh, backpack, so I need three nails, one rope, I can make one rope, uh, so I just need to buy, backpack, three nails, and they automatically go into your inventory. Now we can make a backpack, which is a basic backpack for um, 
extra storage, but of course there are better items with more storage capacity to be looted, but at least you've got an option you can craft from the beginning. Uh, I also want to craft a building plan, so I need three charcoal. Uh, charcoal you can get by crafting a uh, campfire, and then the wood that you burn to light the fire turns into the charcoal. Uh, charcoal with sulfur and fertilizer combined with scrap metal, you can craft ammo uh, for the the weapons, the ranged weapons. So, um, but obviously, you need a crafting bench to be able to do that. Uh, so let's equip the backpack. And I want to craft a building plan and then. We'll buy some nails with the rest of what we have. For now. And then I can show you the um, uh, base building radio menu. Okay, cool. So if I drag this onto hot part, press 3. Uh, we now have a radial menu for base building. So each individual uh, foundation, wall, triangle foundation, frames, um, you can build out of here a place onto the um, main level. Uh, you have different windows, so to go to the previous page. To go to the next page uh, to build door frames and doors stairs and roofs uh, on the last page obviously just the last two items on there uh, while it's snowing let me just turn the volume down uh, settings there we go uh, while it's snowing you can see now that um, a lot of the like the the ground will be covered in snow and obviously puddles when it rains uh, but also uh, vehicles now and um, concrete so the snow will fall on the top level as it would in you know real life the same for um, trees ground um, will accumulate snow same as rocks and boulders so again it makes it more realistic the same as the pathways so if I switch this to rain with the keybind uh, the snow will melt with the rain um, and then puddles will form And the vehicles now are wet from the rain. As you can see. Same as. Uh, yeah, anyway, you get the idea. So, uh, And the same with um, sandstorms. So if we have, for instance, a desert environment. Uh, this is the uh, screen effect, but the dust and sand will actually fall to the ground, the same as will the snow, uh, eventually. Look at the vehicles first, you should see it on there. It'll gradually build up, so. Yeah, you can see it building up now on the ground. It should build up on the vehicles also. Yeah, you can start seeing it now. Uh, or maybe not. Yes, there we go. Yeah, it's starting to come down. Yep, and then rain will pretty much wash that away. And then it'll turn wet. So let's go back to sunny 
and then we're good to go. Okay, so what did I want to do? Yeah, so we'll just come up here um, and just start building a base. Just to show or an example. So. And again, just as another example, you can see the outside temperature is 14. The player temperature is now 23, 24. Yep. So that's because we now have a hoodie, which is for insulation, as opposed to two from the T-shirt. Uh, obviously, a hoodie is going to give more warmth. Um, and nothing from the backpack. But you're also getting two insulation from the vest. So four plus two plus two plus two. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four. Couldn't count then. So that's 10 degrees on top of the wool temperature. It gives you the player temperature. Okay, so let's get the building plan out and place some foundations. Uh, why could be because there's something to be looted here log maybe Let's try that again no here missing ah I haven't got enough nails that's the problem okay I thought that was a bug that I had to fix then, but no. So yeah, so you have the foundation, which is the start of your base. Um, what do we need for a crafting bench? 10 nails, how many do we have? None. Okay, let's get a couple of items looted. Uh, let's go mine some iron ore. Because that sells for more than stone or wood does, but we can collect that from the ground as well. So the marker is to the safe zone, so at least we know which way we're going. Is that no? So these rocks here are um, like part of the landscape, so they don't give collision. But same as the branches here, but they just add to the aesthetic of the sort of the forest environment, you know. I can do with drinking, really, and eating.
sound back up. There they go. Uh, just to make sure that you can hear me talking, obviously. But it's, uh, it only gets a little bit, a bit louder when it rains or when it snows, really. have respawned. I can't remember whether that was there before or not. Nope, doesn't look like it. Nope, okay. Let's just go back in and... Uh, sell these to the vendors okay okay so 49 no nope, that's not buy I'm gonna sell Do we need stone for the crafting bench? No. So we can sell that. How much do we have? 47. Okay. Stone. Sell for 38. Sell. There we go. Uh, we've got quite a bit of zombie kind of, so we've got 2024. So crafting bench, uh, wood banks. Um, twenty thirty. No, fifty, fifty wood. Okay, so for the crafting bench, ten wood planks, ten. Uh, scrap metal times ten. So I need to buy ten scrap metal, ten nails. Nail. Ten. Scrap metal. Ten. Okay, just wait for these planks, there we go, and now we can make a crafting bench, and head back up, uh, to the base, put that on the base. Hopefully gameplay is a bit more entertaining than a quick video showing what's what at least you get to see it live and obviously the weather changing and everything else as well so okay. uh, crafting bench place there right so within the crafting bench you have a number of other items. I need to change the. Uh, actually, no, it's no, it's the same color. Maybe I'll change the background to be similar to this year. Uh, but as you can see, you can now craft a crowbar. So we need twenty more scrap metal um, within the base. Obviously, with the, um, uh, the building plan. Uh, with this, you have the basic. Uh, base items Yep In the crafting bench you have other items so you can craft storage chests to go in your base uh, Water container to obviously gather water animal trap to gather meat and skins which then you can cook on the campfire so uh, then you can start crafting um, ammo for each weapon currently uh, more will be added of course uh, and then you can also craft sort of tents for if you're away from your base for spawning or to place storage basically um, and again these items are gradually increasing as we go in so I want to make a crowbar next so I'm gonna go and buy 20 scrap metal
then we can actually it's getting dark so let's make a torch before it gets too dark and once it gets to 6 p.m. in game I think uh, it starts getting darker So let's go and buy, if I have enough, more than enough, uh, 20 scrap metal. And let's just buy some more nails. Uh, there we go, that's it, fine, okay. Yeah, it's getting darker now. Where's my torch? I will swap that uh, here. Uh, so the torch we've added in animation while idle. And then you can extinguish with the right mouse button or light it or put it out. Uh, it does have a um, decay timer. And the um, axe well, all of the weapons really have a durability, as you can see in the bottom left, 56 of 200 on the pickaxe and 139 of 200 on the stone axe. So once the durability is in zero, they destroy. So then you have to craft a new one, basically. I was dying of thirst here. That was just me spamming the uh, the berries on the hopper. Okay. Do I have wood? Please tell me I have wood. Yeah. Okay. So, with the crafting bench, we put fuel, turn on, scrap metal in the storage, crafting one crowbar that will then turn into a crowbar and the burning wood will turn into charcoal which you can either drag or click and drag sorry click and control and click sorry to uh, automatically go into the inventory turn off get the wood we got to go let's move that up there so we can now gather scrap metal from barrels now is the torch causing a frame drop yes it is okay so that's performance i need to look at okay so barrels see we're now gathering some metal okay and now that the night time we have aurora effects in the sky which i think is pretty cool and obviously stars yeah so you don't necessarily need a torch when it's dark but it does of course help slightly for the crafted which you can have at any point um, as and when you need it or uh, let me just extinguish this again there we go um, or there is a I believe for sale there is in the game to be looted Equipment vendor, yep. Uh, flashlight, uh, binoculars, uh, other items as well that you can buy from the equipment vendor, uh, clothing vendor. 
don't know what's happening there, so I'll make a note of that. But yeah, so each vendor has different items for sale, uh, and then you can sell resources that you've gathered um, for zone coin, and then come back to buy the items that you need. So, so without further ado, Landmax. Yeah, so we didn't cover these areas. Um, but I'll do another video later in the week or maybe later today just showing these areas in the editor but um, they are in the game like I was showing earlier so uh, Swanfield is here um, lake areas obviously the safe zone airdrop uh, yep the farm area uh, the Pineview housing estate um, and that's up there one of the other important things that I wanted to show you, hopefully one of these vehicles has refreshed now. Or if we can find one with an item in it. Uh, the saving. There we go. So... If I now save game, uh, test as an example, um, these will be removed, but it's now saved your game progress with all of your items uh, on the player, every item in containers, as well as the base. Yep, so if we remember here that the, there was an onion in here. If I exit to main menu. And load game. The daytime and the weather hasn't saved. So that would be back to 9am again. So that needs to be added into the save system. But. Everything, everything else is in items are saving. Okay. Any moment. Let's just go back to clear sky for now. So if you remember, we had all of the items on us with the equipped items. I don't need that torch now. Uh, but in this vehicle, there was an onion. Uh, these were empty. Oh, this is respawned now. Welcome back, guards. This one is good to go. Okay, so uh, your quests are saved when you save also. Rainbow. So these are now respawned. Okay, so if we look again, so we have milk here, two drinks there, save. Okay, oh, I quit. Okay, so let's just go back to uh, LNG shipping. That was my bad, but at least I saved anyway, so we should be back very quickly. So, milk, two cans of drink, okay. Uh, and obviously the items on the player that are equipped and in the inventory. Um, and then if we just put this torch out again, there we go. Uh, back to the player base, which is here, where we left the marker. We should still have a two, if I remember. 
place foundations and a crafting bench. There we go. So yeah, so the saving works for the player currently, but it's not working for the um, the day, the time of day, and uh, the, uh, the current temperature at the time that you save. So that will be added, but I need to incorporate that into the save system. So I think that's it. Hopefully that was beneficial. Uh, any questions? Let me know in the channel, or uh, we've now set up a Discord also. So Feel free to join that and then, yeah, uh, any questions, get back to me.